are getting. This is uh, from uh, ISRO. Vikram S, India's first privately developed rocket, is being launched uh, by the Indian Space Research Organization from its uh, spaceport in Sri Harikota. This is about 115 kilometers from Chennai. Vikram S is one of the world's first few all composite rockets that has uh, 3D printed solid thrusters for spin stability of uh, the launch vehicle. Let's listen in. I think we are one minute away from the launch. Madhuri Ji has told you that we have been in the morning of the रफ्तार गति नापी है और इस मापन को हमने अपने मिशन सिमुलेशन प्रोग्राम में डाला है और कौन सी एंगल से किस धरती से कितने एंगल बनाते हुए ये रॉकेट उड़े ताकि हम जो चाहते हैं जो कक्षा हम चाहते हैं जो ऊंचाई हम चाहते हैं वो हमें मिले ये माधुरी जी ने बताया आपको रॉकेट का व्यू लॉन्च से सिर्फ तीस सेकेंड दूर हम अब ज्यादा बोलने वाले नहीं है कुछ देर तक हम आपके साथ मिलकर के इस रॉकेट की व्यूज को एंजॉय करेंगे लास्ट फ्यू मिनट्स लास्ट फ्यू सेकंड्स ट्वेंटी सेकंड्स वी मोमेंटरी गो क्वाइट एंड वी फील द लॉन्च अलोंग विथ यू वी एंजॉय द लॉन्च अलोंग विथ यू जस्ट टेन सेकेंड्स टू लॉन्च टेन नाइन एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू one zero event number 96 completed and we have a successful lift of Vikram S rocket I think I should have be able to show you the jubilant environment here at the mission control center where the entire team is celebrating the launch and the spin stabilized rocket the views from the launcher camera in a few seconds, uh, the vehicle will undergo the condition of maximum aerodynamic pressure followed by the motor burnout and we will get you those confirmations shortly. The vehicle will experience Qmax around 15 seconds and at the same time maximum aerodynamic loads will occur. Just to remind the viewers, this is an aerodynamically stabilized vehicle. At tw 20 seconds flight time, we have reached Mark Five, Plus which minute. means it is flying at five times the velocity of sound and with this the vehicle has achieved hypersonic velocities. It looks like we do have successful burnout and the flight trajectory is tracking as per the prediction. Rocket is now at the altitude of 66 kilometers, 67 now. We have completed 80 seconds of flight time. We are around 34 seconds away from the launch pad and the totally intended trajectory is being followed. The present altitude is 75 kilometers. As we slowly go towards our target of crossing 80 kilometers and way beyond that, uh, nominally, we expect to be around 100 kilometers uh, uh, when the peak altitude occurs. See the screen. Views from the Mission Control Center. 86 kilometers in altitude, we are at 85 kilometers now and uh, slowly and steadily we are reaching our peak altitude. Uh, if you can see it on the screens, the um, altitude profile is being shown. Around 133 seconds have passed. We are very close to the, our peak altitude. We are now at around 88 kilometers peak altitude. and. Uh, uh, everything has gone as per we have planned. We are very close to the peak altitude now. The peak altitude performance has been reached at around 155 seconds. And now slowly the rocket will start its descent. Actually it has just started from 88 kilometers. Now it has come to around 87.1 kilometer. The peak altitude being met this mission today has given a good successful, satisfactory performance as intended by us. जी हाँ एक सफल उड़ान प्रथम उड़ान विक्रम S के लिए प्रारंभ बड़ा ही रोचक रहा यह रॉकेट अपने गंतव्य तक भी पहुंचा और अब अपनी ऑल्टीट्यूड को घटाने की कोशिश में
मात्र 70 किलोमीटर की ऑल्टीट्यूड पर अब ये रॉकेट स्थित है दिस रॉकेट अचीव द एपोजी ऑफ 89.5 किलोमीटर्स दैट इज द पीक ऑल्टीट्यूड अचीव्ड बाय दिस रॉकेट वॉज 89.5 नाइन अवर टारगेट वॉज टू क्रॉस 80 किलोमीटर्स एज यू ऑल नो 80 किलोमीटर्स इज कॉमनली डिफाइंड एज द स्टार्ट ऑफ स्पेस so this rocket successfully went into space as we intended and now after completing its mission of achieving the peak orbit creating the conditions for the payloads to function and uh, completing its job successfully it is or it is on its way back to a safe splashdown in the bay of bengal as we have intended the range right now is 115 kilometers away from shar and we expect it to impact somewhere around 130 kilometers away from shar the whole thing has gone as per planned ye bahut hi khushi ki baat hai ki sky route ki taraf se unke pehle abhiyan mein hi jo unhone plan kiya tha jo humne plan kiya tha wo hum successful rahe aur ab ye rocket apne splashdown ke bahut hi nazdeek hai aur hum kisi bhi shan ab splashdown के करेंगे और ये मिशन सक्सेसफुली अकम्पलिश हो जाएगा आ, हम यहां पर बधाई देना चाहेंगे इन स्पेस को जिन्होंने इस पूरे मिशन को रेगुलेट किया गाइड किया हम बधाई देना चाहेंगे सतीश धवन स्पेस सेंटर श्रीहरिकोटा को जिन्होंने जिन्होंने ये हमें फैसिलिटेट किया इसरो को इसरो चेयरमैन को वी थैंक ऑल दिस पीपल वी आर हम्बल्ड बाय द सपोर्ट व्हिच वी गॉट दैट्स अ हिस्टोरिक मोमेंट एज फार एज इंडिया एंड द प्राइवेट सेक्टर्स फॉर ए इनटू स्पेस इज कंसर्न्ड दैट हिस्टोरिक लॉन्च हैज हैपेंड वी यू सॉ द एक्साइटमेंट देयर फॉर विक्रम एस एज एज इट लॉन्च्ड देयर इट्स अ न्यू एरा फॉर द स्पेस सेक्टर एंड you can see the minister in charge uh, there dr jitendra singh uh, leading the country and congratulating all those who have been involved with this historic moment anshul tandon assistant director uh, of an astronomer of space india is here with me anshul tandon first reaction this moment historical when the private sector is making its foray uh, if you can sum up your feelings uh, see first of all i would like to congratulate every indian here Uh, who is watching us and who are not watching us i would like to congratulate all of them that this is a step ahead for us uh, that we have gone we have started uh, with uh, started successfully with the launch of uh, private rockets uh, so other com- other countries are already doing it but when we have started so it's a different kind of a feeling when you know that you have butterflies in your stomach so it's that kind of a feeling and i think everyone would be happy and proud 